Hello YouTube, today I'm showing you how to recover a lost original NAND image. So basically for this, all you need is your JTAG, USB flash drive, and the files provided in the description of this video. Now, step one is to go ahead and download the original NAND for your Xbox. There will be a few links in the description, and you just need to click the one according to your JTAG. Mine is a Xeon, so I went and got this one. So I'm going to go ahead and extract this one by choosing Extract here. If you don't already have WinRAR, just go to rarlabs.com. There will be a link in the description for that, too. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And with this, we're going to get original.bin and info. We're just going to leave these up here for now, because they're not needed at the moment. Now, we're going to get Flash 360, 360 Flash as well. We're going to go ahead and extract 360 Flash. Alright, now we don't need these, so we're just going to go ahead and these. And we'll um, be using this at a later time to um, check over our information to make sure they come correctly. And now extract 360 Flash tool. So, oops, I did that, sorry about that. Get that out of the way. And extract Flash 360. And I'll move this over here. Alright, so with Flash 360, that's what we're going to use to um, dump our NAND to our flash drive. And then we're going to download JTAG tool, which is the actual tool we're going to use to convert things. So basically, you can double click this. Get a little prompt, you guys can't see it, but it pops up and you just click yes to the security warning. Press next, next, and start. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to click exit. And yes. Now, what we're going to need to do next is go ahead and plug in our USB flash drive, which I actually need to go get mine, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our USB flash drive, so we're going to go ahead and plug it in to the first available USB drive mm -hmm. slot. Alright, so open view files. Alright, so I've already got it on here, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, actually, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. So, copy the file you extracted, well, the folder, flash 360. Just drag and drop. Alright, now once that's done, you can close this out and make sure you safely remove this just so it doesn't mess anything up. Uh, Alright, so now we're gonna head over to the back of the box. We'll be right back. Okay, so now that we're at Xbox, take your USB flash drive and plug it into your Xbox and turn it on. My Xbox is going to boot directly into Freestyle Dashboard, but I'm going to go into XX Menu because I like the interface a little bit better and it's a bit easier to use. Okay, hold on. Alright, so I'm just going to boot this disk and it's going to take me to XX Menu. Alright, so it uh, boots up. It's gonna uh, probably be sign in, so I'm just gonna sign into my account. Alright. Now when you get to this menu, press RB. RB. And then press X. And make sure you select USB zero if it's only USB plugged in. Alright, then go down to flash 360, click on that, press A. Okay, then I'll um, press a on flash360.xux Now it's going to show you this blue screen Now here you're going to want to press X A Okay, so it won't take long at all, it'll take like 30 seconds or so Okay, so now just press anything and press back and then we're going to go ahead and just power up the Xbox and take out the flash drive. And um, then we're going to head back over to the computer. Alright, so see you there. Okay, so now we're back on the computer and we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB flash drive. Open the new files. Now double click flash 360, you'll see flash don't stop then. Go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop. Then you can go ahead and close or minimize this, which if you want, I'm just going to close it. Okay. Now we got this. And we got this. Now, we're probably like, okay, so more of a little bit. 
I'm gonna go ahead and open up the JTAG tool as an administrator. So, as an administrator, press the yes to the security warning. Now press advanced mode. Press convert. Press this little button here. Scroll down and double click the flash dmp.bin. And right here you want to click the name that you downloaded out of the description. Original.bin is mine. Now you're going to click here and type, uh, what are you going to call it? I'm just going to say uh, 6, because it is the new original name. The ones are named original, so we can't have two at the same time, obviously. So we're going to press save, and we press convert. And here's a little black box. Here we go. Press enter. So now see NAN created and save to, and my desktop. Alright, so I'm press OK. Now I'm going to go and close this. And now to check that everything works, you're going to need your CPU key and 360 flash tool. So double click 360 flash tool, press CPU, just tick that box, and copy your CPU key and paste it in the box there. And then press OK. Try my number sometimes. And then we're going to press fixed.bin. Okay, and then do keys. Sometimes my 360 flash tool acts up and doesn't work properly. So if this is the case, I'm just going to go ahead and I have another version of it in here. Which, this is what I'm going to include instead of that one because that one's pretty buggy. Okay, so then we're going to go to keys. And we're going to go to CPU. Paste it. Add CPU key. Press OK. Press open file. Press fixed and make sure it loads all the information properly and go ahead and compare this with the flash dumped out bin make sure everything's the same this will be different but everything else should be the same and if so everything has been done correctly